Hey, what's up, crew? Today we're gonna be checking out the Jaden Smith Vision Racers from New Balance. Wake up, get lit. Wake up, get lit. Wake up, get lit. Wake up, get lit. All right, first things first. Make sure you subscribe to this channel. Hit that like button. We're just checking out authentic items. I want you to be aware of what legit items look like. And uh, here's the label on this Vision Racer box. I love what Jaden Smith is doing with this Vision Racer sneaker. He has this little slogan, do you see it yet? There's this concept where we need to make the earth more sustainable. We need to find a way to reuse the materials. And so Jaden Smith is trying to open up our eyes, give us a vision. And uh, yeah, I did have the Vision Racers, that black pair. I opened those up last week. I've been wearing those at work like crazy, been smashing them and about 25 miles in them so far. They're super, super dirty. They definitely feel super hard. They're definitely just for looks <laughs> my foot just barely fits in them so you might want to size up if you want to have some toe room half a size or whatnot these are the, are the colorway here that released for Earth Day and I was pretty stoked about them I had that blue pair of vision racers as well um, those ones are gone but these ones are here these ones are totally different the materials this upper is like some sort of a stretchy fabric type material that black pair all on there is like a leather a vegetarian leather or whatnot but this new pair look here super clean it's got that speckling in it on the bottom do you see it yet and then that totally iced out sole super super chunky so much rubber on the, the bottom of these sneakers so <laughs> they'll definitely last forever the bottoms of it it's just the uppers that I'm a little bit worried about I'm hoping that they last a good amount of time I don't no, this almost looks like a like birthday cake colorway or something. <laughs> I mean, because all that confetti in there and whatnot. So they could be kind of cool. I think they might work with my outfit today. I'll try them on. We'll see how they fit. They fit basically exactly like that black pair. Definitely size up half a size if you want to have a good amount of toe room. They came with black laces. I kind of dig the white laces. I'm probably just going to rock those ones. I'm just going to wait for a good day to wear. What do you guys think about them with these hysteric glamour supreme pants? I'm also rocking them with my t-shirt. I actually paint these myself. This is on organic cotton. I just use some fabric paint to, you know, turn it into this. So definitely DM me if you're interested in buying a t-shirt. Totally sustainable. I'm trying to do that and whatnot. I do want to shoot some positivity at you. Uh, I saw this drawing from the Naked Pastor, one of my favorite mentors for sure. In here, you've got this pen of sheep. There's the one multicolored sheep, which is basically somebody who uh, is homosexual. And then the gatekeeper sheep is telling that homosexual sheep, of course we welcome you. You just can't play. Oh man. And that is so real for reality. There's too many times where we have somebody who's in the group, you know, but not really, you know, we just have to accept them because we want to say that we love everybody or we accept everybody. But in actuality, when it comes down to it, no, we don't agree with those people. <laughs> We're not into their way of life. We basically don't accept the way those people's brains function. And so we're going to have our group. And if you actually want to play the game, you gotta be like us, you gotta fall in line or whatever. And that's not a good way for us to be. We really need to be more accepting of these different types of people, people who have different lives, people with different backgrounds. They totally were just raised different than you were or I was. And we can't expect their brain to work the same way as ours does. Our pathways are all gonna be different in our brain depending on how those pathways were created during adolescence and childhood and, and all that goodness. So anyways, um, for this week's drops, there's so many items that release. Hopefully you guys were able to grab some different things. Those Travis sixes, I did not get those. I tried, you know, entered a lot of drawings. I've entered a ton of drawings this week. I mean, Nike had so many dunks that they released or restocked, I guess. I didn't get any of them, but I did cop the Vapor Waffle, the Sakai's, I mean, or Sakai whatever those are gonna be dope we'll check those out and then i mean kick cutty he came out with this nfl draft limited edition starter breakaway pullover jacket that thing was a little bit too crazy for me i'm not really into the nfl that big like that you know i did cop the supreme nba collab with the print all over that was a few years ago or something like that not that long ago but i mean that i'm cool with i mean print everywhere i think i got the air force ones too or the air force one highs those supreme air force one highs with the nba logos all over them not that this isn't cool from kick cutty but uh, i just can't just can't do it nfl is too aggressive and then travis travis scott 
had so many drops this week, not only for the sixes, he also had the crossover precision design by Cactus Jack. Let's see, he also did a collaboration with Undefeated, or no wait, he did a collaboration with Neighborhood, the Neighborhood Carousel, thought that was pretty dope as well. And then Yeezy Slides, those dropped again. I didn't cop any of them, but apparently they're supposed to drop every two weeks, so that'll be dope. I do have foam racers or foam runners. Those are basically my house shoes or whatnot. And, and I mean, I got loads of slides too. Like these Nikes recycled uh, crater foam slides. I wear those a lot too. Um, but anyways, other things that have been going on with me, I mean, just working again, 65 hours per week since last September. So we're going on almost nine months now of just delivering a ton of mail at the post office and then playing basketball when I can in the evenings. Just been shooting hoops just wherever I can find some sunlight and a basketball hoop, honestly. Just playing on some gravel a lot of times because that's how the courts are around my neighborhood. Um, hopefully everybody out there, you're all staying busy, staying on top of things, going after your dreams, going after those ambitions. Maybe you're still working your daily job like me and you know, you're just working towards that ultimate goal that you have to be self-employed or to have a, a, a specific position at a, a different work establishment but yeah just keep plugging away don't give up time will only tell what we can accomplish so let's just keep after it and uh, let's change this world one moment at a time why not spread some peace some love peace out about to have a party in the hood hey work but a stack on trying to get a pill ever since it changed my life i'm a walk that walk boy trying to get a price trying to do right now if you work yeah.